Hey guys, uh, as you can see, it is snowing really hard out today. So rather than sit around and waste a day, I decided I'd do a uh, video on snowmobile comm systems. <music> We've got a CKX Titan, a Bombardier BV2S, and a Bombardier Oxygen Helmet. Um, what I've put on all of them is the Cardo uh, Smart Pack. Um, the two helmets on the end are mine. This one uh, I use for cold weather riding, and then this one I use for warm weather riding. Um, so this is a just the microphone kit audio microphone kit um, so I'm, I reuse the the actual unit um, this I'll show you on Amazon and this is much much cheaper so if you do have two helmets you can do your comm system for both helmets um, on Amazon there's a few different types these are all Cardo's uh, comm systems um, these are the Pack Talk Bold. Um, that's their new model, uh, but they do still have the Smart Pack, um, and that's about two hundred and eighty-four dollars on Amazon for um, for two of them. So if you have you and a spouse or you and a friend, you can you know split it. They're not overly expensive. But like, like I said, once you get the this unit, um, this is about. I think it's $65 on Amazon. So you can put it, if you ride motorcycle or four wheeler and you have a different helmet for that, you can uh, just put this, this on and then it stays and you can just put this off right here. And this can go on any, any helmet that you put it on. So uh, the three different types of helmets here, um, as a lot of people already know, that there's a breath box inside the BV2, which makes comms really complicated. Um, it's a great helmet, it doesn't fog, it's great for cold weather. Um, it is really hard to get a comm system in this helmet. Um, the cheek pads uh, go all the way up to the to the ears. So on this, this helmet, I actually shaved some foam out of the cheek pad to hold the, the headset and um, on the BB2, you have to use the wired mic, and the quality on the wired mic is quite a bit lower. Um, so pretty much what I do is I just tuck it in there and then close the mask. And most of the time you can hear, as throughout the day, the, the quality of it gets um, less because the mo there's so much moisture inside this mask that the, the mic gets straight full of water. Um, on these two helmets on the outside here, this is uh, my CKX Titan. Um, so on this one, uh, just coming from uh, inside the cheek pad there, I got the boom mic and that just sits. Um, there's a little, not sure if you can see that, there's a little icon there and that's the side of the mic that's, uh, is listening. So I just pull that right up to my, to my mouth and then I can close my breath box. Um, if you have the extended breath box on your CKX, this doesn't work as well. So on a really cold day, if you're running your extended box on your CKX, uh, it's not going to work as well. One nice thing about the CKX, the CKX is comms ready. So, uh, and the CKX Titan, they have already shaved the foam out of the cheek pads. I'm not sure if you can see that in there, but they've already shaved the foam out of the cheek pads. So you just put the little sticky thing that Cardo gives you and those, that headset just uh, goes in. The wire runs around the back of the helmet over to the other um, speaker over there. And then uh, the one thing I did find that was kind of hard is to find a flat spot on this uh, CKX Titan. It uh, is a very curvy helmet, so trying to find a flat spot to mount the 3M base is uh is kind of tricky but it, it does it does hold i've had it on there for 
uh, you know, a couple weeks now and it seems to be holding. This one's been on here for a couple years um, and that, it hasn't moved at all. So Carter does a really good job about giving, uh, they've combined with 3M to make that adhesive and it's uh, almost like a spongy adhesive. So it forms to the, to the curve of the helmet. Um, and then I just run the wires in underneath the, uh, the skirt of the helmet and, uh, and then up through. Uh, the oxygen helmet is also comms ready. Um, these um, removable sound canceling uh, ear things that they have in here. Um, this piece right here, so you can see, it, uh, that comes apart. And that whole earmuff thing in there comes apart and you can take the foam out. There's a piece of foam in here. You take the foam out and your speaker for your comm system replaces that foam. So the, the oxygen helmet is a great helmet. It's uh, super easy to do an install of a comm system. Um, the person that is wearing this um, has great sound quality. Um, whether it's listening to music or listening to other riders, it seems like the people in our group that wear these can understand um, the comms much better than the other helmets because of these earmuffs. They're, um, they don't have to run the volume as loud because um, it, it really does, it locks the sound right in. And there's all kinds of room to install the uh, boom mic in there. And same thing, once. Once you put the helmet on your head, you just reach in, pull that right up to your to your mouth, and it, it works great. Um, the Cardo Smart Pack, it's almost line of sight. Um, they they do stretch quite a ways. Um, one great thing about these is if you can get your whole group on this uh, Smart Pack, it does have uh, uh, DMC intercom mesh. So that means uh, like Bluetooth capability, you can only have like two riders and a cell phone or three riders and no cell phone. Um, so with this DMC mesh, uh, only one of those cell, uh, Bluetooth spots are taken up by the whole comm system. So you can have, I'm pretty sure it's like up to like uh, 18 riders or 20 riders. It's, it's a lot. Um, yeah, 18 plus. Right here, so uh, that intercom mesh is definitely the way to go. If you're gonna spend the money on it anyway, they're all fairly expensive. Uh, get one that has intercom mesh because uh, you don't have to repair. Uh, once you've uh, started your group, you connect the, the helmets uh, through their app and every time you're within range of these helmets, they automatically connect. Or if you're on a ride and somebody you know, stops getting gas and and the rest of the group pulls ahead uh, out of range. As soon as that person comes back into the group, it automatically reconnects. They're, they're super um, user friendly. Um, you can listen to music. When you're listening to music, it turns the music down when somebody talks. You can hear what they say. And then as soon as they're done talking, it turns the music back up. It's all integrated. You don't, there's no, you just turn the music on on your phone and it's ready to go. So this is the only comm system I've ever used, so I don't really have a lot of experience with anything else, but I do know that I am very pleased. Um, I've used them a lot. I use it on my motorcycle helmet as well, and it, it's a pretty great system. So uh, we'll see you guys out on the trails and you know, ride safe and enjoy, guys.